Welcome to Tech Brothers Dhamir. In this video, we are going to learn how to drop a user in PostgreSQL on GCP, which has uh, created uh, some other objects such as tables, store procedure, and, uh, and other ones. So now, when we do try to drop that uh, user, it gives us this error. So if I do try to do it with the uh, command uh, drop a role and uh, then a role name, which in this case is Amir, it says that cannot uh, be dropped because some objects uh, depend upon the and uh, then it tells you like hey it is the owner of the database and one of the object in the database is also depending upon that one. Now that's uh, right and uh, now if I go and uh, try to delete from the uh, interface on the website then uh, it also give me this error. So let me show you this error and then we are going to work through how to resolve that. Um, because our goal is maybe Amir has left the company and now this is time for us. Uh, we drop that user so he will never access uh, our database. Um, now first of all uh, I'm going to go right there and uh, here is my Postgres uh, SQL instance. So you can go to the navigation menu here you will go to SQL and then you're gonna go to the Postgres instance click right there and what we will do here we will create some user now user uh, right now I have Amir but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new user I'm gonna call this one Amir test so Amir test is the user and I'm going to provide some password for that one now this user um, join the company yeah, he's very nice you know and uh, he, we gave him permission he's gonna go ahead and create the databases and all that so let me connect uh, by using Amir test to my server and then we create the database and some objects and uh, here I'm gonna use the PG admin so go to servers here register and uh, say right there and I'm going to put uh, Amir test and that's my uh, uh, connection okay so I will just say Amir test so we know that uh, this is a user we have used. Now here I'm going to go ahead and say Amir test and then provide the password. Save. Now as you can see that uh, Amir test user is connected and now only he's uh, seen a couple of databases there and he can go ahead and create the database. So we gave him permission so he's going to create a database and uh, he's going to create a database called Amir test DB. So he created this database. So let's save it and now we are all good here and uh, maybe we can create uh, one uh, table for him so I'm gonna go ahead and create table in the database I'm gonna copy this one here and go to the Amir test DB and then go open new query tool and here we'll create a table by using Amir test user so paste right there and uh, it is going to create my table and uh, it is going to insert the data and the then we are gonna just uh, select the data so it's one row you can see one Amir okay that's great now this Amir test user has left the company and I wanna go ahead and uh, drop him first of all I will go to you you uh, this uh, user interface here and uh, go to the users and uh, I'm gonna try say Amir test and remove now if I will do that if uh, try to remove here Let's see, this is the error we are getting because some of the object uh, such as uh, Amir test database is created by this user. So we can't really drop uh, him till we assign uh, those uh, uh, kind of ownership to some other user. So I'm going to close this one. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to connect uh, to this server by Postgres user. So I'm going to copy this, go to the uh, my PG admin and here I'm gonna go register this server and I'm going to register by using Postgres so so this user user connection okay so you would know that I'm using Postgres user here uh, provided the IP and uh, this is a user and we are going to provide the, the password okay so now that's we are connected here and what I'm gonna do here I'm going to let's say if I will go to the Postgres database here and then open a new query tool and what I'm gonna do here I'm going to drop role Amir test so if I will say drop role Amir test that's my user and here it will give me this error it is saying that hey Amir test DB belong to this Amir test user and you cannot 
uh, delete that um, that's fine you know no big deal now think about a scenario first of all there are two things happen so this user has left uh, the company and maybe we also don't know the password for this user right so first of all uh, i will show you let's uh, reset the password for armor test user and then uh, we'll work on other parts of how to drop it uh, now i uh, want to go ahead and say this is statement we can run this statement and if you notice here i'm connected by using postgres user okay so first of all i'm going to change the user password so i'm saying the alter role armor test login password this okay test one two three dollar sign i'm going to execute that one so now armor test uh, the password for has the uh, chain now I'm gonna drop this uh, connection because it's not really uh, valid anymore because we use different password when we connect with the Amir user. So we can go ahead and uh, just uh, you know uh, remove from a server and uh, yes, okay. And also I'm gonna delete this uh, session. Uh, sorry, close this session. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open a new session here, okay. And I'm going to open this session and uh, use the new password for Amir test user. So I'm going to go here, register server. And uh, here I'm going to go say Amir test connection uh, with new password. Okay. So we will go here, provide the IP and our username is same Amir test because that's what we want to drop, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and provide the password here. So test one two three dollar sign and save now there are multiple things we are going to do here first of all what we are going to do we are going to open this uh, uh, connection uh, here with the armor test uh, and uh, we will go to the maybe same database here open a new query and uh, we will run this uh, query that i'm going to show you so you're going to run uh, Actually, you will run this query grant Postgres to the uh, first in the Postgres. Um, so that's our second step. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run this query in Postgres. Then we'll go for next. OK, so here uh, after setting the password, you are going to go ahead and run this query. OK, and what we are saying grant Postgres. So role to the armor test okay so that if i don't do that i will not be able to run the next command you know so go ahead and run it and it says that hey postgres role is assigned to the armor test now that's fine and now we go to the session that we created with the armor test with the new password and uh, the new password uh, was uh, my idea because sometimes you don't know the password and that's why i created that but maybe you don't have to do that so this command you are going to run now with the Amir test session. So you will go here and then you will say reassign owned by Amir test role to Postgres. So uh, we can go ahead and execute and it will give you output say reassign owned. Now we are all good here. We go to the Postgres session again that we user uh, used Postgres user and here we will use the same statement uh, we have right there drop role armor test so i'm going to go ahead and execute and you can see that uh, the drop role is uh, successfully done now if i will go ahead and uh, first of all let me verify a couple of things i'm going to go to users and armor test should not be there so you can see there is no armor test anymore okay now if i will go to the uh, here and uh, this uh, connection is also not really refresh and uh, maybe it's just sticking there but it's not going to connect or anything let's say if I will go here and uh, try to create a table uh, create table public dot uh, test one two three ID okay so if I will do that it's not going to run that because saying that role this one it was uh, con uh, concurrently dropped so this is a drop so this is the connection is not there anymore you know so we can go ahead and close the connection um, now uh, let me actually uh, yeah let's close that we already know that what to run and all that now this is the Postgres uh, uh, session and I'm gonna just uh, disconnect from the server yes 
and now here you can see that uh, I'm gonna also remove server so you don't see anything so now we are only connected uh, with Postgres user and uh, if I can go ahead and uh, refresh the databases and uh, you can see there Amir uh, test DB is still there and uh, I can uh, go to the tables go to schema and I can go to the tables and then you can see my table is there as well which was created by Amir test user so we are successfully uh, able to drop the user but remember that we are we have to go through some uh, queries that I just showed you so again I'm gonna give you a quick summary once uh, we see that so we see that the database does exist even user is dropped and table does exist with the data even the user is dropped who has created this sum so let's go over the steps again now as I said that you might not have to do this if you don't know the user password then you will go to the uh, login with your uh, uh, Postgres user you know and then run this statement and uh, here you provide your role name maybe Amir or somebody whatever the name you have and uh, set the password once you set the password and the connector to the Postgres and uh, what you're gonna do also after setting uh, the password you will say grant Postgres to the uh, that user so whatever the user you have in the Postgres so this session has to be opened by Postgres user you run this statement and uh, after that what you're gonna do you're gonna log in by using uh, that user maybe Amir or whatever the user you have and then uh, reassign owned by a that user to the Postgres so that will run in the session opened by the specific user that you are trying to drop and once that's done you will go to the Postgres session again and then you will run this drop user Amir or whatever the username you have so this should work and uh, uh, I hope this will benefit you to sort this out thank you very much for watching I will go ahead and put this in the description so you can copy paste from there and test in your scenario